Well, we're just in London at the moment. This is Downing Street. I'm outside David Cameron's house, or number 10 Downing Street. It's just over in that direction. Over there. <laughs> Assembly. That's right. You gather, you gather up the people's assembly. There's a big sound system, and then they kind of broke away in the sound system, and then broke out, mm -hmm. and then we had our own congregation. We had about 18, 17 people there. We were going to gather like every night, hopefully to build on that with more people. But instead of building it with more people, it kind of shrunk. It kind of shrunk down. The 15th of May was fairly okay. It started off with, uh, I think, I think there were. 1.6 million likes on Facebook uh, and then like only like three people turned up <laughs> but then it, it sort of like gathered and a lot more turned up and then the police showed up you know um, and they were like you can't do this you can't do this here you can't do this here and then two people were arrested for chalking on the on the on the wall someone wrote resigned Cameron and there were two people arrested um, the, the authorities were quite heavy-handed. I think the authorities have been quite heavy-handed throughout the whole procedure. The authorities have kind of wanted to wanted to shut people down. You know, we had the police turn up. Were there any other moments when the police interfered, like you know, your slogans or your banners? Your uh, not really for not really for banners. No, not really for banners. Banners or slogans. Just um, I think I think that just, just that one time there was a guy who was quite rowdy. He was drinking. Though. He, he turned up with alcohol. He was quite rowdy. The police took him to one side and, and said, "Okay, you can't do this. You can't do this. You can't do this." And that's when we were talking about Jimmy Savile and things like that. And they said, "Well, you can't talk about this guy. You, know, you can't." And they were like, "Why not? You know, why not? You, know, you shouldn't be able to mention it." And they were like, "Oh, you can't do that, or you'll be arrested." I think. So, <laughs> it's crazy. legacy from the Occupy London movement from a few years back. I mean, aren't there people that from, from that time, I mean, that are still <laughs> active or, because there, that was quite, a, that was something in London, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah that, was, that was quite big in London, yeah. yeah. Perhaps, perhaps there was, yeah, perhaps there, perhaps there was something from the Occupy movement, but where are those people now? I think, I think those people have probably set up events themselves and probably thought, you know, no one's turned up to this, so I'm just going to leave it, I'm not going to become an activist anymore, I'm not going to get involved, and become discouraged with that. I see, I see, I see. You know, I think it's, it's because they thought themselves, yeah, you know, I'm, I, I've done this, I've done all that I can. Yeah, like turning up to somewhere and then no one else showing up, and you've travelled all the way across London as well. Because it's expensive to travel, so it's expensive yeah, to get yeah. into London. And most people are saying about the cost of getting into London, and the other people are saying, you know, Perhaps other people just got different things to do. Perhaps people are so busy. But we need, we need a guy to turn up and just camp here and just say, or we need a group of people to just turn up and camp here and say, look, we're not leaving until the government have gone, like they did in Egypt. Egypt, Egypt and then no. I mean, many other places. Yes, yeah, yeah. Spain, yeah, Greece, Egypt and Spain and Greece. Turkey, Brazil. Yeah, yeah. That's what we need here now. I'm going to carry on protesting and carry on demonstrating. I'm a bit disillusioned by everything now. Um, because getting arrested, because I do lots of political art, so I'm, I want to I wanna do more political art, but not for a while, because I get arrested quite a lot, and it's quite draining when you get arrested, and lawyers about £190 an hour. Alright, so you just you end up paying that out of pocket, basically? Yes, yeah, you have to pay out of your, out of your, out of your wages, yeah. Yeah. So it's easier to watch the Euro Cup? 2016. Yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> it's much, much easier to watch Euros, yeah. Great, we have an ending to this interview. <laughs>